Okay, time for a quick Ranger update. We've got a uh, crusty bumper, as we talked about before. It's very nice. And this is basically junk. So, um, I got a new one from the junkyard. And I guess new means slightly used, but this one is uh, in a lot better shape than this guy. So, I'm going to pop this guy off and put the new one on, and it'll look ten times better. So, that's what you get to watch. All right, so as you can see, we got our new bumper on. It's looking pretty good. That should help uh, help her uh, sell a little easier because she doesn't look like as much of a crust bucket. But that's uh, good. I think today also, if I got some time, I'll squeeze in an oil change. Probably uh, try to get these polished up a little bit if I can. And then um, we're going to start on the radio next in here. So this is our new uh, Bluetooth radio here. It's pretty uh, simple, comes with the connector. We'll show you how to connect that in a little bit. Um, what I'm planning on doing is just trimming this out a little bit so this guy slides in there pretty nicely. And it's got these screw holes on the side, so we'll have to probably make ourselves a nice little bracket just to hold it on, just because the uh, ones that are standard and the one that came in the mail do not fit. Um, it says for 03 vehicles and up, but I'm assuming just because the Ranger is such a uh, old vehicle and everything carried over for forever that it's probably just fairly old uh, as you can see we got to get all this stuff off too and we'll get this probably repainted so it's not all nasty just kind of a, a snug fit in there you can see there's these screw holes on the side We'll uh, use those to anchor it in here uh, on both sides. And like I said, there's little brackets that came with the other radio thing I might use, and I've got some left over here from my last radio I did, so we might use these too if we can. We'll see what we can do. But um, now that we know this guy fits, we're gonna pop it back out, prep this guy to paint, and then we'll go and wire while that paint dries. Okay, so where we're at, um, all the wires have been matched up. This is a little jumper harness that you can get at AutoZone or any car stereo place. Um, you want to make sure you get the one that matches up to your vehicle. And then once you got that, you're basically good to go. You can match up the wires with that with the wires that come with the radio. And then um, what I'm going to do is solder them all. I have had bad luck with crimp connectors in the past. A lot of people you do that for speed. And then once I'm done with that, I'll put these heat, heat shrinks over them and shrink them all. Um, I, I always want to test these out beforehand just by plugging in the radio and turning on the keys while they're just twisted together just to make sure everything works before you solder it all so you don't have to redo it. So I'm going to solder those all now. Okay, so we got our screen in. Uh, we got a couple screws here just to retain it so it doesn't slide out. Um, you can't really push it any farther, so that's going to be good for that. Um, I'm going to just plug everything back in the way it was, and then we'll put it back in place and uh, plug in the wires, and it should be good to go. Vent, uh, it's got all these little bootstrap clips. They just pop right in. They're a little bit of a pain in the butt to get out, but um, in is a lot easier. Trying to be careful with this freshly painted part here too. I don't put any scratches in it or anything. All right. This guy goes through there. Antenna. That's probably the longest reach. That's in. You don't want to forget your antenna. I've done that once before, and you don't know why it's not working. So don't do that. 
new connectors in, antennas in. Reconnect the cigarette lighter here. And uh, this guy. Spade connector there. I just want to make sure that this guy connector sticks out so we can put the uh, 12 volt charger back in. Alright, I'll we'll plug this guy back in. Alright, and that guy really just sat in there kind of like that, fairly loosely. Doesn't seem right, but. to it than I know. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I figured it out. Just gotta get this little uh, connector over the edge there, then it's good. Alright, back to your home. Alright. So, that guy's pretty much good to go. We'll put the fasteners back in here. And then that should suck that up and make that look a little nicer, but. put the keys into before we get too far and make sure she's working all right. Wrong keys. There we go. That's it. I was like, why isn't the power button working? 969 yeah, so there we go. We've got our working radio here. We'll tighten everything up. And should be good to go.